Hey, Brian here once again, and I'm uh, coming back to you uh, with a certain knife. And unfortunately, I don't have a lot of knife viewers, but some of my knife videos uh, have a fair amount of views on them. But uh, the Migron uh, Cure Accuri. I botched that, but uh, Migron <laughs> AKRI. Just wanted to come back to you and show you this knife again. And just, I took it apart and had the time and I cleaned it and I uh, got all the old residue off of there. Obviously these knives, the manufacturers don't ship them with any quality of oil in there it seems. It's got little uh, needle bearings or not needle bearings, a little ball bearings and captured bearings. Uh, but look, I mean, I still can't open it. And you know, that's unfortunate, uh, you know, with most people, how they can just flick it that way. My thumbs just don't work. They, they, they I can't get the full turn. I mean, I just don't have, you know, the people that have the detached ears and the thumb that curves. I mean, do you have to have that to really be skilled at flipping, you know, all these, these different flips on knives? I just can't do it. My thumb definitely doesn't curve around like a monkey. I mean, I don't know if monkeys do that. But, you know, it's like their fingers are a lot more special than mine. I mean, my hands work and move fine, but I just can't do some of those easy flicks and turns and flips and, you know, finger, I don't know. But, uh, so, you know, you can do this and you can fidget with it. I mean, it just takes two hands. Um, I mean, I do that a lot, but here's what I wanted to bring you to the video. Look at how, and I tighten the pivot a lot to get it to center. And so let me just show you here, when I, when I take that and drop that down, I'm trying to show you here in the video. I mean, it just, just, I don't, it's glass. And a lot of other videos are coming out now about this knife and, uh, and how really special this knife is. And I polished my blade up a little bit more and yeah, the best I can. I love high, high polished blades. Look at that. But that's just sick. I mean, I don't know how to convey that. I mean, but that's just, I'm not even moving the knife or anything. And it is tight, the pivot is tight. That's insane. I think it is. I mean, that's pretty good action. I mean, it is really, I can get it to come up. I just can't, you know, get it to do that, that full open. Um, it's just the downside of my hands, but I mean, I'm not even doing anything. I mean, and you can't get it to come out. I mean, it's, 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 it's in there, but I just want to bring this video again. I just love this knife and I just wanted to show you what the outcome was for me just to, you know, taking it apart a little bit and cleaning and oil it, oiling it um, with my little secret lube. I mean, nothing special, uh, but that's, look at that. And there's my centering, if you can see. To get it centered, I did have to tighten the pivot on the other side right there opposite the logo. Tighten that down more than I, I normally would. Uh, and it, it's close to center. I'm, I'm not a, a knife snob. Uh, it doesn't have to be, you know, for, you know what I'm saying. You doesn't have to be just, eh, you know, just looking in there and get it precise. But I mean, it's close to centered, good enough for me. Um, and so, mm, love it. So cool. All right, go out and get you one. You will. Well, you won't regret it. Bye bye.